welcome to it. Welcome to my room tour. So I just moved into a new college house for this new school year. Um, in college, living situations are kind of weird. I know this is kind of confusing for some people. You don't have to live in a dorm all four years. Normally you only live in the dorm for like your freshman year, maybe even your sophomore year. So my freshman year, I lived in a dorm. Then my sophomore year, I lived in a house. And now my junior year, which is right now, I'm living in a new house because the leases here are like one year. So once that lease runs up, you can find a new house or sign that lease again. And I chose to sign a new lease with a new house and new roommates and stuff for junior year. So that's where we're at. Hopefully that makes sense to some of you that don't understand. But yeah, we're gonna show you my room today. I'm so excited for you to see it. And then I'm also going to do a whole house tour showing all my roommates rooms and our living room and everything later on in a different video, probably a different week so that you guys can see that. So make sure that you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss that when that comes out. But yeah, I actually just got done with class a couple hours ago and now it's lunchtime so I need to eat. So really quickly, let's make some food. <laughs> So today's video is sponsored by Green Chef. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well, easy, and affordable with plans to fit every single lifestyle like keto, vegan, vegetarian, and or paleo. If you don't know what it is, basically they are meal kits that are sent right to your door. The recipes are super easy to follow with step-by-step -step instructions and they're also really quick to make. All the ingredients also come pre-measured and perfectly portioned so that you're not wasting anything, which is my favorite part, especially as a college student because I feel like every time I buy a whole thing of onions, I obviously only use them for like one or two recipes that I'm making and then I waste them and they go rotten and they're bad. Then I waste my money and nice ingredients. Big chefs, expert chefs design flavorful recipes for your lifestyle that go way beyond ordinary substitutions. They also offer contactless delivery right to your doorstep for easy home cooking. And Green Chef offers nine recipes to choose from weekly within every meal plan. I just love that there's something for everyone and it's just so convenient and easy. Let's go ahead and see what meals are in here and get cooking because I am hungry. <laughs> Living this life with a different attitude Don't flip, don't trip, keeping up the good mood Cooking up some good food with my friends in the street Yeah, people wanna chill, they can come and speak to me Cause, cause all you gotta do is just ask Cause we can always get another class Got trip, got swag, got class Pop the trunk, get the brakes, stop the gas When I'm sitting with my friends it's Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh to offer a wider array of meal plans to choose from. There's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands for when my tastes change or when I want to eat a little differently one month. Now my viewers can enjoy both brands at a discount with me. Well, that was amazing. And I love that since it was the two portion meal, I can still have leftovers for tomorrow's lunch, which is amazing. Overall, this experience was great. Definitely perfect for those days where I'm just so busy, I need to cook something really quick. That was so quick and easy to make. And if you guys are interested, you guys can go to greenchef.us and use code juliacrist100 to get $100 off, plus free shipping on your first box. All right, now time to show you my room. I'm so excited to show you guys. So we go down this hallway, and here she is. Don't trip, keeping up the good mood, cooking up some good food with my friends. So first, when you open the door around this corner, we have this little thing. So this is a little hook thingy from Urban Outfitters that I bought when I was in California. When I was visiting Lauren, I saw it and I thought it was so perfect. It fit my room perfectly because it's like this little, almost like terracotta vibe. And I love the cream and the burnt orange. I thought it would just tie things together because stuff in my room is also that burnt orangey rust color. So it has like six different hooks and I basically just hold everything. So I put my keys here, my nice, leather jacket that I just got that I talked about in my last video. Hang that here just because. Then just some random bags. So this, stay tuned for this. This is a little sneak peek at some merch. Then I keep my normal purse, just this bag that I throw things in whenever I need to like go somewhere, like Luna's toys and my laptop whenever I just go over to Keegan's. And then my other purse for other things. And on the back of this mirror is this nasty tape marks from whoever was your last. They like had a mirror mounted there and obviously didn't get all the 
tape off, which is kind of gross. And right here I have this little TV stand dresser looking thing. This is my very embarrassing fiddly fig plant. When I first moved in and brought it back here, it was so beautiful and full and voluminous. And then I think that since it's behind the TV, it's not getting enough light and all the leaves on the bottom half of it that have been hidden all fell off. So that was so sad. Now that's all that is left. So here is that little section of my TV. So I have Luna's bowls that when I feed her, I just leave them there. Then my dresser and TV. It's a smart TV. I hung up these little decor things that I got for Christmas from my grandma. Really? Come on. Then moving over here, I have this little air freshener. No, what's this thing called? Fan, I guess. <laughs> you can see it. It's just this tall, like, rotating one. And it's just good because right now in the summer, our house is so hot. We think that our air conditioning is broken because whenever it gets, like, hot outside, our house is, like, 80 to 85 degrees and it's not cooling down. <laughs> Even when we have all our fans on, it's still so hot. So I have this one and then a ceiling fan and then I have a box fan for when it's really hot. I just turn them all on. We asked our maintenance guy to come out, like, two or three weeks ago and and he said, I'll be out there in a week or so. And so he still hasn't come. That's interesting. We're trying to just make it by until he comes, but we don't know if he's even coming. Another thing that I'll mention in the house tour is that our laundry machine has mold in it. So I can't do it in my laundry. I have a whole thing there ready. I need to wash, but I don't want to do it because it's disgusting. It smells so bad. I'm sure I can show some details in the actual house tour. Anyway, so the fan. And then here is my big closet, which I'm... So blessed to have because I have a lot of clothes, you'll see. We come in and we have a light. So on this first half, I have all of my shirts and then there's up storage up above it. And then all my clothes, um, it just it just keeps going. Um, well, I have a lot of things, but this is all my summer and my winter stuff and all my dresses and things. I don't really do the thing where I pack away my winter clothes and like put them under my bed until it's winter time. I just have them all out at once. Then from there, we have down below and this goes like back there, I guess, if you can see. It's kind of hard to see on camera. I have Luna's crate there, which I don't don't put her in there. I have not put her in her crate for months now, so if I ever do, I'll obviously take it out of the corner of the closet so she's not terrified. Then Luna's food, and then back there I have Luna's little thing of all her pills and shampoo and stuff. Then I've been keeping my tripods kind of bent down small and tucked under there for now because normally I'll let them sit out in my room like this and then it's just overwhelming because they're just all over the place because I have like three. So I'm trying to keep them in my closet just so that my room stays clean. And then there's my laundry that I need to get done so badly, but I can't. And on the other side, as you can tell, this closet is just massive, so I packed as much as I could in here. We have this big tower storage thing where I just have a bunch of stuff. Then over here in this corner, I have Luna's food. And then I have all my shoes. I'm so sorry. I know that this part is so unorganized, but I just have too many shoes that they don't all fit in there, and I don't know where else to put them. But yeah, then I have this little shoe cubby with some shoes in it. Then two little things of plastic drawers. This last drawer is so fun. All of my cases. Five cases and fun, all of my cases. But yeah, that is it for the closet. Let's turn our light off. Okay. Luna joined us, but here is the next part of my room. So I keep a box fan down there because I like to sleep with a box fan on. Then I have my mini fridge. I will link everything below for you guys if you guys want to shop anything from my room. I will try my best. But I have my printer, my HP Tango. Luna. Actually, her dinner time, so maybe I need to take a break and feed her. Thank you, go queen. Then above my fridge, I have this little area, which I'm not even sure what to do with yet. So I have this really cute shelf from Urban Outfitters, just some wine bottles. Then I have a little fake plant, and then this thing is so fun. It is a little doggy camera. Well, it's actually just like an indoor camera, but I use it as a doggy camera to track Luna whenever I'm gone, like when I leave her when I'm at class. It like perfectly shows my whole room so I can see like if she's sleeping or if she's chewing on something and then it actually is like voice usable so I can like talk through it to her and hear her also. So if she, like she is chewing on something I'd be like hey no and she'll stop hopefully. <laughs> then I have this little area of prints that I printed out with my new little HP sprocket printer. If you're curious what's in my fridge I have some waters, some food from Green Chef still and then Truly's. <laughs> and under my bed has a lot of storage. I have a bunch of random boxes under there right now. Now getting to the fun part, my bed. I love 
my bed. So I still have my same mattress from last year, the Nectar mattress. I love it. Then my bedspread is from Urban Outfitters. I ordered it when it was on sale. I wanted something pink and I thought this was so cute because I just love the little like detailing on it. It actually makes like a big flower, which I thought was perfect because pink flowers, my two favorite things. <laughs> so I have that and then I have this pillow from Urban Outfitters. This pillow has been on my Pinterest board for years. Then I have this pillow that's from TJ Maxx. Then that's the whole vibe. I know these like fairy lights like bug out on camera, so I'm gonna turn those off real quick. So I have this little, there's like a remote and I have a command strip back there. I don't really know why they do that, but for some reason on camera, they just like make it not enjoyable to watch. So I try not to put those in my clips much. All right, some more pillows. So these um, pillowcases actually did not come with the comforter, which is kind of annoying. So I had to order these separately, but I did it just so they did match. Then I have my other pillows, like my actual sleeping pillows, my memory foam. So these are white and they are the Brooklyn and sheets. So there's two back there. And then this thing is my pride and joy. I've never been a body pillow person. And then Keegan, my boyfriend, convinced me to get this one. And I found this really cute body pillow cover at Target, of course. And I just thought it looked so cute because it's like the light tan and it worked really well with everything. So of course I had to get that. And then my bed frame is from Amazon. I will link it below. I wanted something affordable still, but I wanted to switch from my dark wood one that I had last year to a light wood one because I'm definitely going to be using more light woods in my future house someday. So I thought maybe getting my like actual pieces like my desk, which I'll talk about soon, this year would be kind of helpful. So I wanted my bed frame to match my desk. So I went ahead and ordered a new bed frame. I love it. It's basically the same style too. You can't really see it with my pillows on. I'll show you. It still has like the three little things. But yeah, I knew that since I was going to have a bigger room this year, I wanted to order myself a nice desk that'd be big enough to fit my iMac. So that's why I got a bigger, nicer desk for the school year. Therefore, made me need to get a different headboard. <laughs> okay, then above my bed, I have this little section, which is so cute. Fair lights from Amazon. Again, I'll have the exact link below. I got so many questions on those when I posted them on my Instagram. Then if you watched my California vlog, you would know where all this is from. But it, if you didn't, I'll just say it again. So this print and this print came in a bundle from Marshalls and I bought them in California because I feel like whenever I'm at Marshalls I never see the same thing there twice like in different locations so I felt like I just had to get them and fly them back in my suitcase somehow because I knew that they would work so well with my whole theme and then same with the mirror I also saw it at Marshalls and it was on sale it was originally $30 and it was on sale for $14 $14 which is so good for this style of mirror like the big oval like I saw this exact one at Target for $50 and I was like like, mm, no, I could not do that. <laughs> so yeah, that's where all this stuff is from. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find a link just because they were from Marshalls, but I will try my best. <laughs> okay, moving on. On the side of my bed, I have this little tiny rug from Target. I actually think this is like a kitchen rug, but I have it because I just love the pattern. Um, I have this just to wipe my feet off on before I get into bed. That I believe is also from Target, and it's for Luna to be able to jump up on to get onto my bed just so she doesn't hurt her back whenever she's trying to get up and down my bed. Then I have my little nightstand. This is from Wayfair and it does look really cute, but honestly, it's not the best quality if I say so myself. The drawers are just not it. It's very wobbly. And on my little nightstand, I keep this cute, cute, cute little thing of fake plants. Then this thingy from Target, it was in the dollar section, so I don't know if I'll be able to find a link. Then this dossier perfume. Fun fact, that was my first ever paid collab, so I feel like I just have to keep it around because it's just so memorable. Then I have this cute little glass from this store in San Diego, California that I was obsessed with. Okay, then there's the nightstand, and next to it I have this little cute basket from Ikea full of blankets. So I have a little yellow one, a nice tan linen one that kind of matches my body pillow and then I actually just spoiled myself with a barefoot dreams one I'm obsessed with it I cuddle with it every single time I'm editing it's so soft then after the nightstand and that basket back there I just have my trash can because I couldn't really find a good place for it where it wouldn't stick out and be ugly then this window and that window both have blinds but this one is the only one that I have my curtains mounted on because I don't have curtains with the other one yet uh, I'm pretty sure they're just from Amazon and they're like the blackout ones I think I want to get some for this window but I don't want blackout ones because 
because it always makes me just sleep in so long and I don't want to do that this year. Then over here we have my desk, which I'm so excited and proud of. I did a whole like desk transformation and desk tour in my other video a couple weeks ago if you guys want to go watch that. So I have this little bookshelf leaning ladder thing. My tip is to always just get baskets and put your stuff in it because it makes it look so much more organized. Then this next one, I have my jewelry. I have this really cute jewelry holder from Amazon. This little mini calendar that I suck at keeping up with. And then behind it, I have my little HomePod mini that I use as a speaker. My five minute journal, little dish, and then a lamp that I still need to set up. That's why the wires are still around it because I don't have a light bulb yet. <laughs> then I have this nice little rug from Target. I'm not really sure how long this will last because it's already getting kind of gross and matted because the puppies come in and play on it and chew their toys. Stuff on it and it's kind of gross already, but that's okay. Then I have the chair that I'm obsessed with. It is so freaking cute and adorable. It's not the best for like back support and everything, but it's so cute. Then my desk from Ikea, and I have put some stuff in the drawers. So I have to-do list notebook, my goal book, and then my weekly planner in there. On my actual desktop, I keep these things on it. Then I have this little organizer where I have my SD cards and pens, some fake eucalyptus and more pens, and this is like one of those electric lighters, so I thought that was cool to keep there. Surprisingly, I don't have any candles here. This is our living room candle that I stole to put in here to make it smell good. <laughs> but yeah, I need to go candle shopping because I don't have any, which is so unheard of for me. And then yeah, above my desk, I just have some prints, this macrame thing, and then my YouTube plug. She's a cutie. And then lastly, my cute little mirror, and I think this is from Home Goods. I bought it last year. But yeah, that is my whole room. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and the whole house tour is going to come soon so get excited thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video